Hello again Slayers, it's me Kyle, but I'm better known as RoboSlicer in the Dauntless community. I'm very sorry that this video is coming up late, but I've been pretty busy these past few days with some issues. However, as usual, here's our sub 5 guide for this week. We have Malcarion, very easy to get through, but our normal mounting cheese isn't going to work because our nerf with actual attack speed is gone, so we're going to be using a different strat. And as usual, let's look at the modifiers for this week's trials. This week is very simple, he's only got 3 modifiers, Behemoth Blitz, so he's a lot faster, Deep Freeze, so stamina costs cost a lot more, and Danger Zone, so circles that explode with electric damage will go up, come up pretty periodically, so all you really have to do is just stay in the air and dodge them once they explode, and again, mounting is not a good idea, so let me explain to you guys what you're going to do for the sub 5. Strats for this week are very simple, you're going to pot up, jump right in, he's going to be waiting for you right at the start. Next, instead of waiting for him to put down the bench, you're going to pull towards him and focus on his head. His head is the main spot where you're going to be focusing on because you are bonded to the Skarn weapons, you're going to be doing a lot more stagger damage than you usually would. Also focusing on his head prevents you from getting hit by his tail spins. That second tail spin usually hits pretty hard so you're going to want to avoid it as much as possible using either Reaper's Dance or staying focused on his head. Again, if you focus on his head a lot because you are using the Skarn weapons as I said, you will get the stagger off pretty quickly or you'll possibly break apart like I did. Next, if he does get away from you by turning into a Beyblade and moving away, he's going to either do one of three things. He's going to dash at you trying to do his grab move, which you can just dash towards his mouth to avoid. He's going to throw electric balls at you, which you can also dash towards him to avoid. Or he's going to try and do his boot move where he dashes towards you in a lightning ball of lightning, basically. From there, you can easily either boop him throwing your ice spike, or you could actually just avoid getting hit by dodging towards him. But I would prefer using the ice spike so that he stays down and I can focus on his head a little bit more. And focusing on his head, again, more stagger and possible part break. My recommendation is if you want to, you can change out the Pangar Lantern for the Scar Lantern just so that you can do a little bit more Terra damage. Plus, it also gains you a shield. If you can use it to get the shield, your Galvanize will actually go off a little bit more and do more damage and get you more crit chances to actually hit him. With Cunning in this build and more Galvanize and Pulse, you should be able to do a lot of damage. However, that's all up to you. If you want to change out the lantern, you can, but I personally choose Pangar so that I can slow him down because he does have Behemoth Blitz. But that's all the recommendations I got for this week. Stay in the air, focus on his head, and avoid getting hit. But I hope you guys enjoy, y'all stay safe, and happy hunting, Slayers.